Welcome back. So residents of Calvinia in the Northern Cape are calling on Premier Zamani Sol to address the province's high unemployment rate, crime and lack of housing. Sol is expected to deliver his State of the Province address in Calvinia today. But let's bring in SABC News reporter Ulrich Hendricks for more on this story. Talk to us, I think, uh, about the atmosphere in the run-up to the Premier's uh, SOPA, Ulrich. Hi, good morning and welcome to Calvinia yet again. Well, there's a, a, a festive atmosphere. It's the first time that the State of the Province address is being held here at Calvinia in the Amtan district of the Namaqualand. Of course, a lot of people excited, but also uh, wanting the Premier to address very much bread and butter issues. We're talking unemployment, we're talking poverty, we're talking houses. A lot of people also saying that um, they're struggling with uh, toilet facilities. Uh, in this area, a lot of overcrowding as well, but also a lot of complaints about the health care services here in the Namakwaland district. Of course, we have one um, hospital here in this area, it is the Abraham Isaac Hospital. Uh, but let's talk to the person who's ultimately politically responsible for that. Marupin Lekweni is, of course, the, mem the MEC for, for health here in the Northern Cape. MEC, uh, we spoke to a number of residents yesterday uh, in the run-up to the SOPA. A number of the issues that they uh, are talking about is clinic services and um, the Abram Isaac Hospital. Uh, they're saying poor services very poor there. No, no, thank you very much, Ulrich, and for the opportunity and to, to our viewers. Yes, uh, you're right. Yesterday we also visited both facilities, the, the clinic and the, and the regional hospital. I must say the clinics are a renovation. We have committed uh, last year to renovate the, the clinic. We, we will be pumping in uh, some uh, thousands of my rents of monies uh, just to improve the services. So I'm speaking to you. Yesterday we went to do some uh, uh, inspections. We have been uh, assured that at least within a month, the latest, they would have uh, tried to finish the clinic. So for now, there's a bit of inconvenience in terms of you know, the flow of services. Uh, the staff is a bit congested in the, other, in the one side of the building. But uh, I think after a month, we would have improved services, we would have also renovated the clinic. But uh, the, the, the thing is that in future, we must build an ideal new clinic uh, for this community of Anta. But the WMSO must, uh, must uh, report good progress. We have appointed a new CEO and he's doing wonders. Yesterday we were there to go into some inspection as well. Both in and out, the clinic, the hospital, it's, it's, it's clean, it's like, as in uh, squeaky clean. Even the services have improved. There's a one theater which is also in operation. Uh, there's, a, there's a surgeon also that we've been appointed. And also we're in the province uh, just from uh, last year, December, We've appointed 400 staff, uh, extra staff members. You know, our, our key challenge has been our professional nurses. We have increased capacity now. Uh, and some doctors and even allied, allied staff. And even you know, your, your non clinical staff, have been, being that your clerks, uh, revenue clerks, your porters, and even cleaners. So th there's a bit of progress. This morning, we just launched uh, our new EMS vehicles. We have again procured uh, 49 new ambulances. Uh, with uh, 10 uh, extra 10, 59 uh, uh, patients transport. And those, those uh, uh, ambulances will be deployed to the far flung towns around here in Amakwa, like in uh, Sutherland, Fraserberg, uh, Wellston, uh, Poor which, which, which I think uh, we, we get in there. Uh, you know, for the last couple of three months, there, there's been a huge outcry on our EMS services because, uh, you know, long waiting, turn around for ambulance to come, and waiting period about too long, which also we have reduced drastically with our new uh, call center. So, so I, can, uh, I, can, I, can, I can report to you, Ulrich, around here, we are improving our, our healthcare services in the, in the Namakwa area, especially here in Antam. Uh, I mean, the uh, problem is so it's, it's, it's relatively new hospital. Uh, there's, there's enough staff and doctors. The, 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 the hospital is, is doing a wonderful job. For now, the challenge can be the clinic because uh, uh, it's not fully functioning given because of the renovation. But after three weeks, a month, I think it will be up and running and we'll be seeing a different tune. Uh, so you're saying after a month, we will see uh, when we come back here, residents will be happy with the clinic and with the hospital? Guaranteed, because it's under, it's, it's under renovation. Uh, maybe within the, the next financial year, 
budget. We'll have to look at our, at our PFF list to check uh, can we budget for a new added clinic. Uh, because the current building we're using is an old building which has been it's which is shared by Sasa and the social development and the clinic of course. But uh, if you look at the proximity of the clinic and the hospital, and the hospital augments the clinic. So if they can't get proper service in the clinic, they can still use the Bramesau Hospital. And uh, we, have, we have really upped the game in that hospital. Uh, you can say you can go at any given time. You, you will see that there's a hospital at work. Uh, enough doctors, even nurses. Uh, now with the, with the new vehicles we have acquired now, uh, for our human services, which will just augment healthcare services in the, in, the, in the whole province. And I must say that for, for, for us in the province, we, we, we can see the, the light at the end of the tunnel, uh, where, we are where we are really improving our services. Uh, you know, if we can improve our infrastructure, uh, get uh, more stuff, and uh, improve our EMS services, we would have broken the camel next, in the, the, the back, in fact, the camel's back, in terms of our challenges. And uh, we, are, we are optimistic that we're on the right track. Thank you very much. MEC for Yalti in the Northern Cape, of course, Raping Lekwene. Of course, as we can see, uh, the pomp and ceremony of the SOPA has started, so we'll release the MEC. Thank you very much, MEC, Thank you, for that pomp and services. Right. Uh, of course, uh, the Northern Cape Premier is supposed to start his speech in just uh, in a few minutes. Uh, that is the f his fifth uh, state of the province address, and of course the second one uh, outside of the Northern Cape capital. My lady. Yeah, Ulrich, thank you so much for bringing us that story. We certainly will keep a close eye on that SOPA as well.